My fans, I go feel say jam give you this kind of question, you know, if you solve them, it don't make sense now. So, you know, say they prepare for jam 2025 or YA. I don't make sure say take this question very seriously. First of all, like this video, share them. If you never subscribe to this channel, subscribe right now. Let's solve. Solution I tell you, say for my physics, I need to waste time. Now, the same way I need to waste time for chemistry and also for mathematics. If I see question, I bring up parameter, I solve. Now, they say the wavelength of ultraviolet radiation is 400. Yeah, yeah, my interest deal. Firstly, what did they call wavelength? They can't give value, say, now waiting. 400 waiting. So, my friend, I never know this one. Small letter N and M. Now, I'll tell you what you mean. When you see small letter N, they say wavelength. See the symbol for wavelength, too. They call wavelength. Wavelength. See the symbol like lambda. We they use this lambda for wavelength. Equal to, they can't say now, 400. This small letter n means nano. You know, say so we get micro 10 to the power of minus 6. We get nano 10 to the power of minus 9. I wait till you no know hard. So convert this one from nanometer to meters. I want to do I'm just say this will go equal to 400 times 10 to the power of negative 9 meters. Negative minus 9. 9 be what you call nano. So you don't convert them from 400 nanometers to 400 meters. And you can't give you 400 times 10 to the power of negative 9. You must do this thing. If not, if you use under 400 solvent, you go fail them. <laughs> you go fail them. I'm not going to lie for you. Maybe continue. Wait again, wait and give. If the speed of light in air is... You like that sound, are you? If the speed of light in air is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second, so speed of light, some people they like use C for that speed, some people they like use V, maybe use V where you like, <laughs> and they like what you like now, maybe 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. Then the frequency of the ultraviolet radiation is dash, you don't know, that means a frequency, now frequency they can't say. Make you fine. See, make you fine. It's simple. Now you, now you go think, say, okay, as it be like this, what is the relationship? What do you relate frequency, speed of light, and wavelength together? Which formula? It's simple now. Now you be this one where they call V equal to frequency multiplied by lambda with the wavelength. Now, now frequency they find. So, no be to make frequency the subject of formula. Now him now. The question is simple. So you can see, oh yeah, now let's make frequency this subject. I want to make frequency to stand alone. Now to divide both sides by this wavelength, with a lambda, so that this wavelength will cancel it. Wavelength. Fundament frequency equal to V over lambda. You never finish your oh, voila. Things still day. <laughs> okay, what it be this one? V. They don't give us now. We don't agree, say V. Now be that three times 10 to the power of eight meters per second. Over waiting with this guy wavelength, same now. Maybe this 400 times 10 to the power of negative 9 meters. Is it say as it sound like this meters and meters will cancel? Waiting will remain now per second. So the unit of frequency, if you put them as per second, if you still put them as hertz, you understand per second mean one over. Second now, <laughs> so because frequency f equal to one over the period t, so period unit now s. So if you get frequency as per second, yeah, you understand, or if you get frequency as hertz, but if you check the option now, now hertz where they use no wala, we will use that hertz for them, make peace win. But the problem now, I want to get this one now, no get calculator, how I want to do it. It's simple. So, first of all, this two zero way there. You go use them, change them, change this one to standard form so that you go feel manage the stuff well. Let me wait, I won't come really come to. So you can't get me no say normally three divided by four will give me something like 0 0.75. I already know that one normally because as I will do long division. Uh -huh. So F now will be equal to if I get my first convert this one so that you don't go confused. But if you get calculator, just point your own, divide your own, get your find your options. Tell me for comment section already. But I won't just teach small thing way with that calculator. I want to do one. And now, what I want to teach you, you go study indices too. You know that indices for math now. So, leave you unit alone because I don't tell you what the unit will be in here. So, we could just work on the stuff when we get here. 4 times 10 to the power of 2. 
9 is 0, 0. Got 10 to the power of 2 means 10 times 10. And 10 times 10, now 100. So 400, 4 times 100 are 400. So now standard form of this one be that. Times this other one, times 10 to the power of negative 9. Uh -huh. So I will come play with this one to get the answer. Remember, I don't tell you already, say 3 divided by 7. So 3 divided by 4 will give you 0 0.75. Check them if you confirm them. If you confirm them, if you know, understand, I'll feed the long division, but I don't want to waste time for this one because you just need to learn this thing with that calculator and those just come out. Times, just bring one of the times. This denominator here, you know the product law of indices, or you call it multiplication of law, uh, multiplication law of indices. That law still say, what's your good on my studio on? You see the on, let me see, see the yami abi. You see the yami abi. It always not the head when I ask the question, why did they do like that? You don't like this video already. I beg like I'm now. You go forget. I know you will forget. If you comment finish, you go forget say never subscribe, never like, never even share them. Try to support me. I'm not do more for now. You know, say like my content. You can't do like this. You know, nice now. I'm mean, gonna continue, I beg. So the denominator now, you know to say for product law of indices, when the base they the same, you always take one of the common base. So this time I will take one of the common base, will be 10. And then I'll add the power. You tell me two plus minus you know plus minus now minus now so two minus nine it will be the answer chain at 10 to the power of minus seven abby uh -huh. you don't grab that one now so now you don't get to 10 to the power of minus seven for ya. yeah now 10 to the power of eight 10 they are 10 they are take one of the 10 because the 10s are common now now division you won't do eight you know say now minus seven they down if that minus seven come up it will become plus seven or if you say 8 minus minus 7, minus minus will give you plus. You know, you know clear. I know say this is what I'm talking, you know, understand. 10 to the power of 8, 9 be this one. Remember this one, we don't do it to get divide. 10 to the power of minus 7, 9 we get here. The base, they the same. Just take one of the base. The power now, division, when they divide the same number of base, you go subtract the power. So there's a subtraction here. So 8 minus, then this minus 7. Minus seven. Now, without they try to explain, give you that. Uh -huh. So now, minus minus will give you plus. Let me this plus. Then this seven. Finally, zero point seven five times ten to the power of eight plus seven. Not be fifteen. Now fifteen. Now, but if you check this thing now for the option, you did, you know day, <laughs> you know day. You go which one way near them? Don't be waiting near them. Then you do this one, make you reach which there. That's what I'm teaching you. Now this decimal point now. Move on one step forward. You know, so when you say when they count from left to right, it is subtract for the power. Like if I count only one time, it will be 10 to the power of minus one. If I count this on one, two, it will be 10 to the power of minus two. But if I count from this side, one, it will be 10 to the power of one. If I count one, two, 10 to the power of two. If I count one, two, three, 10 to the power of three. That means if I count from right to left, I they add for up. If I count from left to right, I they subtract for up. Enter me. <laughs> so if I move this decimal point one time, one time, it's going to become 7.5 times 10 to the power of minus 1, then times this 10 to the power of 15. This thing we are the teaching now, our primary school is supposed to teach you on secondary. We do not teach you now, we are teach you now. So like this video, share them. Finally, you get 7.5 times the base, they the same. Take one of the base. Minus 1 plus 15. Minus 1 plus 15, maybe 14. <laughs> they look like that. Maybe 14. Minus 1 plus 15 now. Uh. Eh, that 14 now. Uh. 14. What will be the unit of this guy? Yes. So now you look up whether this thing there. I'm not going to follow you. Look. Look whether this thing there. No, just, just a look. Which option? I know the year you put down for comment section. Which option are you correct? Why did you like this? Put down for comment section now. Uh. And like this video, share them. Uh. I will say you like this video. I will say enjoy them. Uh, tell me for comment section. Uh, don't forget to share them. If you like and finish, subscribe. Don't forget to share them. Uh, peace and love. Now later I will relate.